coming up on Bulldog Broadcast. Daniel focuses on standardized testing. Stephanie investigates student sleep deprivation. Mia and Audi challenge our seniors to test their focus. Bree gives us a quick update for the ranking of spring athletics. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2016, and BBC starts now. Good afternoon, Bulldogs, and welcome to this week's stupendous edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Kyla Navarro. And I'm Susie Theus. Our theme this week is Focus. We are here at Coas Bookstore, where the focus ranges from classic literature to science fiction. We have an exciting show for you this week, so let's get started. Focusing on my schoolwork. Focusing on my future. Focusing on myself. BBC, focusing on what matters. Many of us experience lack of sleep throughout a school day. And none of us are at our best without enough sleep. BBC reporter Stephanie Gutierrez investigates how sleep affects our focus. An essential part to these weeks of testing is being focused. But are we getting the necessary requirements to do so? According to Sleep for Health, rest factors greatly in how well we focus. The school nurse, Mindy Henry, tells us more on how the lack of sleep can affect a student's worth ethic. I think absolutely sleep affects it. If you're not getting enough sleep, I think um, it makes it hard to focus, it makes it hard to learn, it certainly makes it hard to show what you have learned and test. I think if you plan your day, um, stay organized, stay on top of your studying, don't wait till the last minute so you're up until one or two trying to finish assignments. As much as you can, if you try to stay organized, stay on top, stay on top of your assignments, then you know, hopefully you can get to sleep at a decent hour. Although Ms. Henry says that more sleep helps us improve our focus, many students here at Las Cruces High School do not get enough sleep, even in these important testing weeks. Five hours? Probably like three or four hours. Two hours, if I'm lucky. But why do these students get so little sleep? Homework, my phone, reading. Just a lot of homework, a lot of stress. It keeps me up. According to Sleeping in Adolescence, 7 out of 10 teenagers do not get enough sleep nationally. And to the students here who do not get enough sleep, may visit the sleeping pod, which is housed in the nurse's office. Well, the sleeping pod is, it's, can be called a sleep pod or an energy pod, and basically it's just, um, you can get in there and take a power nap. It's really good for um, resting, like if you don't sleep well at night and you need to come in and use it, it kind of re-energizes you. For Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Stephanie Gutierrez. What if he attacks me? What if I can't get help in time? What if no one hears me? What if he knocks me out? Stop worrying about what ifs and take a course from Las Cruces self-defense today. Kyla, do you have any advice on how to concentrate? No, not really, but Daniel has a few tips on how to keep your focus on this week's BBC Talks About Stuff. Wow, I love taking standardized tests after standardized tests. It's a real big highlight of my day. I mean, who wouldn't want to be stuck in a room for two and a half hours just filling in answer after answer? I know I would! I'm not trying to blame you teachers, it's not like you're willingly giving these tests out. You're forced to. But all I'm saying is that maybe we should work together. You can help advocate for us and the government can finally see that we're not just a test score. And that you're not puppets that have to teach to a test. I know what you're probably thinking and that's, why don't these kids just stand up and do something for themselves? The short answer is that we have, but no one seemed to bother to listen. So maybe if we work together, we can finally be heard. And this is the same government that wants us to have extracurricular activities, a social life, and get enough sleep. But yet they treat us like computers, and even the best computer, given enough tasks and not enough time, will be burned out. And I'm not saying that testing is bad. Benchmarks are great, but if the feedback for those benchmarks is uncomprehensive, then what's the point in testing in the first place? And please, stop giving me crash courses each year on how to shade in answers A, B, and C with the number 2 pencil. Give me a crash course on how to do taxes, or how to buy and maintain healthcare. I don't know, anything to survive in the real world. 
I'm just saying, maybe we should stop looking at how to better our school system with standardized tests and actually look at a global scale on which school systems are the best in the world. But you know that's just me, a regular teenager focusing on everything and anything before he goes to sleep. Thanks, Daniel. You know, I'm really hungry. Maybe we should go to Five Guys. Oh, maybe McAllister's. Let's I give Kyla some time to gather her focus with a quick break. Coming up after the break. Mia and Audi challenge our seniors to test their focus. And finally, sports takes it to the field to give us an update. Don't go anywhere, dogs. We'll be right back. You may complain about how small your house is, but it's far better than those of the more than 100 million people who live without a roof over their head across the globe. You may complain about the food you eat, but the 21,000 people who will die today due to starvation need it more than anything in the world. You may complain about how your Wi-Fi is running slow, but 1.2 billion people on Earth are living without any electricity every day. You will always have more than someone else. Focus on what you have, not what you do not. Bulldog Buddies is looking for more members. They meet every Thursday at lunch in the doghouse. Mason Leachman, the founder of Bulldog Buddies, explain why we should attend. Bulldog Best Buddies is a club that invites kids of all capabilities, general ed and special ed, to come together and have fun. Join Bulldog Buddies Friday, May 6th at lunch. It'll be a kickball event with raffle prizes, music, and more. She's Gold Medal Taekwondo, located on 519 East Bounce. Join today to move up in the ranks. Tomorrow is your last day to donate cans. A raffle ticket is given for every two cans you donate. Ice cream will be given to the grade level who donates the most. The prizes are two prom tickets, off-campus passes for underclassmen, extended lunch for upperclassmen, a $10 gift card to Starbucks, or a $20 Best Buy gift card. Be sure to drop your cans off in front of the library before school and at lunch. Welcome back, dogs. In just a few short weeks, our seniors will be leaving us to take on the next steps of their lives. But before they go, BBC gathered a few graduating seniors for the 7 Seconds Challenge. I'm Mia Tantinati. And I'm Adi Ramirez. This week we decided to test your LCHS senior's focus. And don't forget all the gross food we made of you. Let's check that out right now. Woo! Uh, I'm Mike Uribe. I'm Corey Noel. And we're the we're Miss, Miss Mazes. I'm, I'm Marcus Cormichael. I'm John Idell. And we're the Miss Masseys. Find a cool floaty and wear it. Ooh, wow. Hey, so. Uh, do two cartwheels in seven seconds? Are those the ones where you roll over your head or the ones where. I got it. No, you like. I'll take you jump up and then you like move your feet while you're in the air. Name five boys' names Brian, David, Jimmy, John. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Sing the ABCs in seven seconds. Oh, Ready? Go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, N, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Name five capitals and oh, oh boy, look at the hard one. Honestly, dude, if we miss this, we lose. Santa Fe! <laughs> the magic spell on you so you can win. Finger paint a dog. Oh my god, I <laughs> You got paint? <laughs> you got a dog? Go! Oh. What? <laughs> no. I make got a paper nervous. airplane? Boy, <laughs> <I'm making> a... <laughs> Boy, that's terrible. <laughs> 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 hey, it's low. You get that one. I dreamed you dreamed of me calling out my name. Is it worth the price? Do I, do I eat it like this or like this? <laughs> jelly, jelly, <laughs> jelly. I love ketchup. I tried the whole bottle okay, before. Okay, we have some next. Who got that? I'll trade you. I'll trade you. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling disgusted. This looks like cat food. 
It smells like that. I thought you were just gonna eat it. I need, I need, I need some, I need some assistance. Oh, look at this. That's nasty. I hate it. Oh, here comes the train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Oh, oh, get it This is not good. That's so bad. What? Keep away from eyes, wash hands with water. Pollution not intended for human consumption. <laughs> not what intended for. In the arms of the angel, Well, that was fun. It really was, except when Mikey threw up. Yeah, that was kind of gross, Mikey. Don't do that again. But all kidding aside, we had a great time with the seniors and hope you guys enjoyed it. We can't wait for you to see what we have in store for next week. Thanks, guys. Now let's kick it over to Brienne for another installment of Bulldog Sports. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Brienne Woods, and you're watching Bulldog Sports. Baseball has continued to hit the field hard during their district play as they took on the Gaston Panthers Tuesday, April 19th. The boys battled all game long and came out on top with a score of 8-5. to five. The boys' next game will be tomorrow night at the Field of Dreams against the Mayfield Trojans. Make sure you go out and support our boys. This past weekend, track competed in another meet up in Demi. The girls got 4th out of 14 and the boys got 5th. Their next meet will be tomorrow up in Alamo. Good luck, track. Softball traveled up to Roswell to take on the Coyotes on Saturday, April 16th. The ladies fought all game long and came out on top with a score of 11-4. The ladies also hosted the Gaston Panthers on Tuesday, April 19th, where they battled all game long and won with a score of 17-2. They will be taking on the Mayfield Trojans tomorrow night at the Field of Dreams. Make sure you go out and support our girls. Well, that's all I got for you this week, dogs. I'm Brianne Woods, and this has been Bulldog Sports. Thanks, Bree. Before we go, we have a quick reminder for all of you. It's understandable to be tardy or absent, but remember, you must bring a parent or official note stating the reason or excuse to the attendance office. Well, that's all we have for you this week, dogs. I'm Susie Theus. And I'm Kyla Navarro. Have a fantastic time at prom, and we'll see you next week.